Hi, it's me, Rachel Lynn, and today I am recapping my goals for the year for the month of March and going into the month of April. So if you are new to my channel, I make videos about getting out of my student loan debt and losing some weight along the way. So if you are not already, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you cheer me on. And if you are also trying to get out of debt or lose weight, I would love to cheer you on as well. So at the beginning of the year, I set seven different goals for myself for this year. And one of the things that I am doing to kind of keep up with those goals is to check in once a month on my goals. So the seven different areas of goals that I set all come from what I think is Dave Ramsey's. Those include different areas such as family, career, social, intellectual, spiritual, financial, and then physical, which is kind of um, what I'm doing with weight loss. But if you are already at a healthy weight, it could be something like, you know, training for a marathon or something physical that you are trying to do that um, is new and pushing yourself. So for my family goal that I set at the beginning of the year, I decided that I wanted to spend, make sure that I am spending at least one night a week with my family. And that goal was a little bit easier to meet than I think I originally anticipated. And so last month I said that I'm not really tracking it anymore. I'm just doing it. For my career goal, I set two different career goals. Um, one was in my regular teaching job. I teach kindergarten and I wanted to be more efficient at school. So I started making a daily list of things to do. I did a video all about that. And I also deleted Facebook from my phone. Um, last month I talked about how Sudoku had kind of replaced Facebook as far as keeping me busy during my planning times and other times when I should be getting things done like before and after school. So this past month I did cut back on playing Sudoku a lot. So I don't think that it is something that I need to delete off of my phone yet. It has not become that drastic. However, I will admit that the last about two weeks I've been slacking just a little bit and I think that is more just because I have been ready for spring break and um, this week, the first week of April, is actually my spring break. I think I just needed a, a good long break and I'm ready to go back into the school year and finish out and finish strong going into the last few weeks of school. The big thing that I'm going to do with that is just continue doing my lists, but then I'd also like to start getting to school earlier. I like to get to school between 6 and 6.30, but I don't have to be at school until about 7.15, and I haven't been getting to school until like 7. So my goal going into the very end of the school year is to get to school by 6.30 every day. For my secondary career goal, that is um, here on YouTube, I have set some YouTube goals. So what I am currently trying to do here on YouTube is continue to make great content and hopefully people will subscribe and they will watch my videos and they will learn something and hopefully and that is what you are doing now. You are hopefully subscribed and you are also learning and being inspired to set your own goals from this video as well as losing weight and um, getting out of debt or saving for a more financially secure future for yourself. Those are the things that I want to, to do here on YouTube. And in the meantime, um, it also holds me accountable. And I would like to to get paid from YouTube as well, hopefully within the near future, to help propel me out of debt even faster. In order to get paid from YouTube, I do need to reach certain thresholds. I need 1,000 subscribers and I need 4,000 hours of watch time. I have been uploading consistently and I have also been trying to improve my, the quality of my videos and the quality of my content. Unfortunately, I did not track where I started the year as far as subscribers and watch time, but I do know that last month I had about 910 subscribers and 3,100 hours of watch time. I currently have about 970 subscribers and 3,400 hours of watch time. So I am getting very, very close to the thresholds that I would need in order to be considered for monetization. I am really hoping that I can reach 1,000 subscribers this month. That is not so much a goal, just like a hope, because it so much depends on 
other people hitting subscribe so if you have not already hit subscribe please do so so I'm not necessarily saying that I want to set this goal to reach a thousand subscribers this month but I am crossing my fingers that it will happen so for my spiritual goals I set two goals one was to increase my giving once my church asked for it they have now asked for us to up our giving if we are able and so I actually will be doing that starting with the month of April my secondary spiritual goal is a personal one that I decided to keep to myself and I will just say that I have continued to maintain that goal and am achieving that. For my social goal, that was to visit with a friend once a, at least once a month, um, even if that is just on the phone or some other method of communication. And this past month, I met with my book club and I also met with my friend Jenny at the end of the month and we got together and we went to lunch and had some, some fun. For my intellectual goal, I set a goal to read a book one time a month and then meeting with my book club and uh, kind of they go together which is really nice so in the month of February I actually read a book by Kristen Hanna and then our book club decided to do another Kristen Hanna book because we absolutely loved it I read Winter Garden now I did listen to this I got an electronic copy of the book and just listened to it I somewhat feel like that's a little bit cheating as far as reading but that's what I had to do in order to get reading into my schedule. I was able to play it while I was walking whenever I was taking my dog out for a walk and um, I was able to listen to it in the car on the way to and from work and it was just so much more convenient to actually listen to it rather than like take extra time out where I sit down and read and don't do anything else. It was very good for multitasking and so it feels a little bit cheaty but I am going to count it as reading a book because I did get that literature in and um, if you have not read Winter Garden, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So now finally on to my big goals for the year that is my weight loss and my financial journeys. I'm actually going to start with my weight loss goals. I outlined my weight loss goals in yet another video that I did at the beginning of the year. I started the year off at around 256 pounds and my ultimate goal really is to be under 200 pounds by the end of the year. I also set a goal to do a 5k once a month and do a 10k by the end of the year. And then of course I like to track my calories and then exercise 30 minutes five days a week in order to achieve those goals. So I have currently lost over 21 pounds this year so far. So I am doing great as far as weight loss is concerned. I'm super proud of myself for that. Now I did not exercise five days a week every week in the month of March. There were two weeks I actually only made four days of exercise, but I talk about that on Weigh In Wednesdays and give you a weekly update on how I'm doing, why I succeed, why I fail. So you definitely want to check those videos out for more details on you know, meeting those goals. I did a 5k in the month of March. It was on March 2nd, so it kind of feels like it has been forever since I've done a 5k, just because March is just always feels like a really long month to me for some reason. I also started keeping track of how many miles I have gone in a single month, and then I am trying to up that mileage each month. In the month of January, I went 31 miles. In the month of February, I went 32 miles. And then in the month of March, I know that I like smashed it out of the park. I went a couple of miles over. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm gonna put it down right down there. Yay! So I know that I like killed it um, and I'm super proud of myself for that as well. One thing that I would like to add, at least for the month of April, just to help propel me with weight loss, I am going to try doing a crunch challenge. It's just kind of where you do so many crunches in a day and I know it's not a whole lot but it is something that I would like to add to my routine. I feel like I need to do some kind of strength building in addition to these somewhat cardio. I guess walking is cardio, but um, I, I, I feel like I 
need to add something in that is strength related, muscle specific related. And so I am going to try a crunch challenge. This crunch challenge will not count towards the time needed to do exercise. It is just in addition to. And finally, for my financial goals, my goal is to pay $20,000 towards my student loans this year. In the month of January, I paid $1,300 towards my student loans. In the month of February, I paid $3,000 towards my student loans. I was only able to do as much as $3,000 that month simply because of my tax refund. In the month of March, I put about $1,500 towards my student loans. I am doing pretty well as far as putting money towards my student loans. Going into April, May, and June, I will be making a lot more money. I have another side hustle that I do. I work at Keeneland and Churchill Downs, and that makes me quite a bit of extra money on the side. So the next few months, I should be putting an awesome amount towards my student loans. So I'm very excited to report how my debt payoff is doing over the next couple of months. So those are all of my goals for the year. I would love to know what goals you set for yourself this year. If you have not already set any goals, it is not too late. Go ahead and tell me in the comments down below what your goals for 2019 are. Also, don't forget to like this video for just completely blowing all of my goals out of the water this month. I'm super proud of myself and I am ready to tackle on April and just do even better this coming month. And just one last time, if you have not already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. I would love to have you on this journey along with me. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.